So here you have the pre-made little zippy parts. There we go, make sure it's centered. And here you have the zip. Uh, I'm just going to apply that for right now. So I just selected the line along which I want it to be. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to separate it. And then I'm going to uh, Alt C and go curve from mesh. Oh, and uh, just uh, so you see that the I already UV'd these so that I don't have to UV them one by one afterwards. Um, so what's next? Uh, so here I am. Oh yeah, I need to add to this. I need to add an array. Change the offset. Hmm, that looks about right. Maybe if I'm being fussy, just bring it in a tiny bit. There we go. And then I need to add uh, the curve. Up. And up. Oops, that's nice. There's only one curve anyway, it's cylinder whatever. Cylinder zero zero three, or is it? Let's see, this is it. Up, oh, name it. Curvy zip. There we go. And you can see they already kind of snapped to it. So we need more of those. Oop. Get them all the way down there. There we go. And this is this the tricky part is the rotation part. Uh You need to turn this on so you can see what you're doing. And we're going to rotate on that X. There we go. And we're going to lift it a bit. There we go. Ta-da! Two seconds zip. Well, actually, it's like five minutes of the tutorial, but it's because I hadn't done it in a while. So then you just like apply the curve. Oop. Apply the array, apply the curve. And you can just delete the extra bits that you don't need. And you just have to do that with that bottom one there. The one that's bigger. Oop. And you're all done. Ta-da! Magic zip.